Good morning, children. Today, I'm going to teach you a new chapter, Chapter 6, The Road Through the Forest, written by Lyman Frank Baum. So please pay attention while I read and explain the chapter. Before I could read, explain the chapter, I would like to give you a brief introduction about the story. This passage you are about to read is taken from the famous novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. It is a fairy tale about a girl named Dorothy who is taken to the magical land of Munchkins. Now the passage that we are going to read or learn today is been taken from a series or from a novel called The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Now Dorothy was being carried to a magical land called the land of Oz by a cyclone, by a strong wind. Now the place where Dorothy was being carried, this place is known as Munchkins. Now Munchkins, Munchkins are small children or small childlike creatures who live in this fairy tale. Now Munchkins are small childlike creatures who live in this magical land. They are not as big as us. They are uh, as human beings. They are as small as children. They do not grow more, more, uh, more big as, as compared to human beings. They are just small in size. Here she meets many other strange creatures who help her to find her way back home. Now Dorothy when she lands to this magical or imagination land called Munchkins, she meets many strange people and she makes some good friends. Now she wanted to go and meet whom? Dorothy wanted to go and meet the Wizard of Oz. Now why did Dorothy want to go and meet the Wizard of Oz? Now she wanted to go and meet the Wizard of Oz because she wanted to go back home. And now a wizard is a person who has magical powers, who can grant wish, who can grant wishes of people because he has magical powers with him and so that's, for that was the main reason why Dorothy wanted to go and meet the wizard of Oz so that she could go back home. Now please pay attention as we come into the detail of the chapter. Now before I could start this chapter, there are three characters in this story. One is the narrator, the person who is saying the story or the speaker. The third is Dorothy and the fourth is, uh, sorry, the second is Dorothy and the third is the scarecrow. Now the narrator, the speaker who is narrating the story or telling the story. At noon, Dorothy and the scarecrow sat down by the roadside near the little room. Now it was noon, it was afternoon. Dorothy and the scarecrow, they both sat down near a roadside in front of a small stream, a small flow of water in front of a brook. Dorothy opened her basket and got out some bread. She offered a piece to the scarecrow but he refused. Then as it was noon and Dorothy was feeling hungry, she opened out her basket, she took out her basket and from the basket she took out a small loaf of bread and then she offered it to the scarecrow but the scarecrow refused to take or eat the bread. Now we will come to know why he refused to take or refuse uh, to uh, take or eat the bread from Dorothy. Scarecrow, I am never hungry. It's a lucky thing. I am not, for my mouth is only painted, and if I am, and if I should cut a hole in it so I could eat, the straw I am stuffed with would come out, and that would spoil the shape of my head. Then the skirt crow told Dorothy that I am never hungry. Now the reason why the skirt crow was never hungry was because he had a mouth which was only painted. His mouth that was there was only painted. He never had a real mouth. It was a painted mouth. And even if he made a cut on that mouth, 
the straw usually scarecrows are made of straw the straw that is there will come out and if he tries to eat that bread the straw that is which with with what he's made will come out and will spoil the shape of his face and head he will not it will disfigure his face for that reason he avoided taking the piece of bread from the uh, from dorothy narrator dorothy saw at once that this was true so she nodded and she went on eating her bread that dorothy saw at once when the scarecrow said said so dorothy observed the scarecrow and then she saw at once and then she nodded her head and she concentrated and eat she concentrated on having her bread because she knew it was the even if she offered the scarecrow a bread uh, the piece of bread he will not be able to eat it as he is made out of straw and all the straw will come out from his mouth and his mouth is only painted this mouth is only painted so all the straw will come out and will spoil the shape of his head or will disfigure his head then the great crow asked dorothy please tell me something about yourself and the country you come from then the great crow asked dorothy while dorothy was eating was having that bread then the great crow asked dorothy please tell me something about yourself from where you are with with whom do you live from which country you have come from which place you have come from so this now the scale crew wants to inquire or know about dorothy from which place she belongs and how she came into this magical land dorothy then dorothy said i am from kansas where everything is green now dorothy said that she she belongs from a country or from a place named as kansas where everything is green i live with my aunt un, uh, aunt m and uncle henry now dorothy said that i live with my aunt m and uncle henry and i have a small dog named toto and she has a small dog named toto toto and i were being carried to the strange land of oz by a cyclone now how was dorothy and toto brought into this strange land brought into this magical land Do Toto and Dorothy was being brought into this magical land by a cyclone. Now, where did this cyclone occur? This cyclone occurred or took place in Kansas. It took place in Kansas, and and this cyclone brought them into this. The strong winds of the cyclone brought them into this strange and magical land called Oz. brought home brought dorothy as well as toto a little small dog into the strong uh, into the strange magical land called oz i am going to meet the wizard of oz who can help me to get back home then dorothy told the scarecrow that i, I want to go and meet the wizard of oz now as i have told you before a wizard is a person who has magical powers who can grant wishes for that reason dorothy was going to visit the wizard of oz who could grant her wish to go back home to kansas city and where dorothy can be with her uncle and auntie and with her dog toto over there happily now why is kansas called a great city why is uh, why is uh, uh, dorothy calling kansas a great city It, Kansas, uh, Dorothy is calling Kansas a very great city because usually over there it keeps thundering and raining a lot. They have lots of cyclones over there. For that reason, Dorothy called that place a great city. There are lots of cyclones, lots of thunderstorms that keeps going on over there. For that reason, she called Kansas a great city. A scarecrow. I cannot understand why you should wish to live. leave this beautiful country and go back to the dry gray place you call kansas then the scale crew told dorothy i just don't understand why do you want to leave such such a beautiful country side with lush greenery with good fountains with beautiful flowers with fresh environment and where there is complete bright sun 
you want to go back to the great city called Kansas. Why? I just don't understand. Why do you want to leave this beautiful place and go back to a place which you call grey, which is very dull, which is not, which is very dull and gloomy, and which is not as bright as this beautiful country? Why do you want to go back there? Then the scarecrow asks Dorothy this question. Dorothy, you say this because you have no brains. Then Dorothy tells the scarecrow, you say this because you do not have brains. So why did Dorothy said this word? Because she knew that the scarecrow was made of straw. It was not human being. The scarecrow was trying to act or behave like a human, but it was actually not a human. It was being stuffed with straw. You say this because you have no brains, no matter how dry and dry, dry, dry our homes are, we people of flesh and blood would rather live there in uh, would rather live live there than in any other country, even if it's beautiful. There is no place like home. Then Dorothy tells the scarecrow, because you are not human, we are human, I am human, I am made out of flesh and blood. I know what is feeling, I know what is home, I know what is love, I know what is affection. You are just a scarecrow, but you are you are not human, you do not have flesh within you, you are made out of straw. You do not have brains to think as your brains are stuffed with straw. So that's why you will not understand what love, what family, what relation means. So that's why we do not call maybe my place, the Kansas way I live in is grey or dull, but I love that place because my family is there. I have my uncle, I have my auntie, we have a bonding, we have love. So that reason we we I do I don't want to stay in this place which you call as beautiful, which the case scarecrow called as beautiful. Children, I'll explain the remaining chapter in the next class. Until then, thank you.